Welcome to Live It Up, I'm Donna Drake, and I always love when I'm able to invite creative guests to the set, and that's just the case today. We are going to be talking to two filmmakers, but before we do, it's really important that you at home get a chance to look at their fantastic trailer, and you'll be laughing along with me as we talk to them in just a minute. Here is Casanova Was a Woman. I could totally say that I'm in a great marriage, have a loving family, a successful acting career, and live in the nicest city in the world. I could say it, but I'd be lying. I think I'm not in love with you anymore. What? Why? Why? Is it the sex? <laughs> Being Latina and looking the way I do is never easy. Can you believe my agent sent me out for this? You look like the offspring of the O'Connell family in this room. <laughs> it's even harder when you got a family like mine. Were you guys talking about me? I'm sure you're talking about me. You're always talking about me. Thank goodness for a true friend who is on your team. Cast on bisexual and Sam is really Samantha. A true friend who makes me want to switch teams? with a woman in a conscious, serious way. What would you say if a straight friend wanted to kiss you? If that straight friend was you, I would say, thank you, Lord! Praise <laughs> Jesus! been through this myself. Oh, no, you haven't. I wanted love. I needed love. Every now and then, <clears throat> I see a naked guy. A what? A naked guy. Naked guy. That's not going to work. Schizophrenic lesbian. Could there be anything worse? And we're back. <laughs> and if you hear laughter, it's, it's the laughter of my guest along with my own laughter. Hope you're laughing at home. With us today on set are the wonderful, the incredibly talented and dynamic duo of Jezebel Montura and Kevin Arboway. Welcome. How are you guys? Good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> wow. We're excited. I know. Yeah, excited. I'm excited to have you guys I could, here. I can deal with some more adjectives before we continue this <laughs> oh, conversation. I don't know. But you know what? They're always, they're always like sincere. I mean everything no, I say. I that's good. <laughs> you are. It is good. That is good. It is good. It is good. Oh, my goodness. So okay. thank you for having us on the show. You're yeah. Welcome, you're welcome. What beautiful work. Thanks, thanks. Now, was this the first time you've worked together yeah. as a team? Yes. So tell us a little bit about the experience of that. Well, you got started, because it starts okay. with you. <laughs> okay. It all starts with Jess. Yes, you wrote this, but, you right? Know, you wrote right. And, no, sorry. <laughs> you know what's really exciting? I, I kind of leave in, um, you, you know, karma and the universe aligning itself to put people in your path that you that you are looking for and don't realize that you're looking for. I had two other directors. I, I, I still didn't tell him the story. I'm not going to make a big story, but I had two other directors lined up. They both turned down the project for whatever reason. Their mistake. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. He, he ended, well, and I, I put in a ad because I those two directors that I, I knew um, couldn't do the project for a lot of reasons. And then I put an ad on Mandy.com, and uh, everybody should know Mandy.com is awesome. We've got, a, we got, we, Got so many great people to work on this movie just through Manny.com. It's like a, you know, a database sure. for filmmakers. And, um, you know, the minute uh, I saw his work, I saw his demo, saw his resume, I sent out a bunch, but he was one of, I, you know, you know, I want to see your work to a bunch of uh, different filmmakers. And then he was one of the people that responded uh, to, I had a trailer because I did a stage reading. This film has been in 
development for six years. So I um, had done a stage reading, and I did like this little video about the stage reading and the experience and the, the evolution of this project. So he responded. What did you respond? But we're we're going to do this in tandem. Yeah. Oh, I like this. This is good. This is good. Yeah. No, it was something, you know, I had literally just finished another mm -hmm. film that was kind of an uh, adventure type thing. So I wanted to do something different. Um, I hadn't done a comedy before, even though comedy is my first love. Um, so when I saw what it was about, I immediately contacted her. I found her phone number. It wasn't in the Mandy ad, but, you know, I did my research. Which <laughs> you stalked her. You found stalking. her. Yeah. Stalking. Got yeah, a little bit. A little bit of stalking. <laughs> and uh, so I ignored the judge's orders, and I ended up contacting her. <laughs> And uh, I said, listen, I, I, it's something I feel like I can do. Send me the script. She sent me the script, and I read it in about 45 minutes. That, that, I was mostly impressed with that, because yeah. most people, I'll get to, you know, they read it the next day, or they read it, you know, she, he read it in f literally 45 minutes. I have the emails and the time. Yeah, <laughs> it is true, though. When you get a script, it's usually like, you know, ooh, new toilet paper, and, you know, but... <laughs> But, uh, but I read it in 45 minutes and I called That was my, my first draft. draft. Yeah, the, 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 the first, first draft, draft yeah. of the paper. It was the Charmins of scripts. <laughs> and, uh, uh, no, but it was great. It was great. I mean, it was just funny. It, it, it had the elements of comedy that I personally enjoy. It, it had a very Mike Nichols, James L. Brooks type of thing. And I just, I mean, I, Rob Reiner, I just loved it. So he put your, your writing in that same category. It must make you feel amazing, right? It, it, do it does make me feel How amazing. Does it feel? It do it like <laughs> yeah. But um, he just pushed all the right buttons because also um, then we talked and we talked about what the, what the message the message is in the, in the in the movie and and he got it you know got it in quotes you know like because there's a lot of people that they understand the Latino and the ethnic situation and LGBT and, and they get it sort of in an intellectual way but he got the humor and those messages in a real emotional way he connected with the script which not everybody does you know then we met. So we, you know, decided, I decided to interview him, and we met, and then we connected, like, as people, which is rare. So he connected yeah. with the script emotionally, read it in 45 minutes, he called me, stalked me, and then... <laughs> it was met. meant to be. It was meant to Let be. Let that be a lesson to all you stalkers out there. <laughs> yeah. Persistence <laughs> is the key. <laughs> Fast, quick action is yeah. the key, right? I mean, it really, really was kismet, you know? Yeah. We, we we really got along, and I, I, I think it's really rare. I think we, we have a partnership here that's going to last a very long time. Oh, I agree. I think you guys are a wonderful duo. Well. one of us outgrows the no, so, that's yeah, not going to happen. Now, you grow together. You grow together. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, you were telling us that a lot of the people that have been with your production has been with you for six years. So the time you wrote it, the mm. time you did the stage reading. How many of the people that did the stage reading with you were actors that actually pre appeared on film? Um, 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 well, they did. Uh, let me see. It was a actually I had one. Well, I had one also in the New York City Fringe Festival because okay. I um, just as a fluke, you know, I just wanted to get up on its feet and actually. See, and I swear to, I swear, <laughs> I think it was going to get in. Everybody says this too. It's cliche, but I didn't think it was going to get in uh, to the New York City International Fringe Festival. I think that was in 2011. And I said that I said, ah, let me see. The only festival I sent it in, I didn't want to do a stage play. It's not a stage play. It's a movie. So I was like, okay, let me do. It got in, and then I had to adapt it and switch a lot of things around and add things that doesn't don't work on film and vice versa. So I got in. I used an actor, and he's in in one of the sequences. But the the, the main actors, which are friends of mine that we sort of grew up with in this theater company, um, in in our twenties when we were in our twenties, um, I think I used four. Okay. Four. That's significant. Principles. Yeah. Um, because they. Have been with me on this journey. Jezebel, send me the scene. Uh, let me help you with this. What? Oh, this works. This doesn't work. Um, they're really supportive people. Two, two of the actors um, that I used again um, flew out from LA and from Miami on their own dime because uh, the budget was a restricted budget. Um, restricted. Just to s <laughs> I'm gonna remember that one. What was your budget? Restricted. <laughs> I hate to use low budget because we have a connotation of low budget. You know, of low quality. it is lower of low quality. Right, the yeah. connotation is that it's low quality, but it's not that. Right. It's just a lower budget with high quality. You Excellent. Know? So, but I, it, it was really meant a lot to me that they flew out and supported. And he noticed that too. That the the, the, the camaraderie and the friendships and the love that, is, that that was on the set, it it comes through. It that certainly does. That's what I was just going to ask you. Um, when yeah. you, when you're working with an ensemble that have you know, they've known each other for a long time, yeah, and then you come question. in as the new guy, and then you're calling all the shots. Tell us that's about that experience question. for you. Uh, yeah. Well, thank yeah. you, Jezebel. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, I, I try to be you. a good talk show host. I don't know. I try. I've been asking yeah, I'm testing you right now. I'm testing you. Okay, she's got but good questions. But this question. is like SAT quality. That's the best <laughs> question I've ever had in my life, bar none. Um, no, but well, no, you know why it's it a good question? Because it came up. It's come up oh, okay. yeah. many times before. Yeah, it, it was actually something that terrified me, not because... <laughs> 
of the odd man out quality, but because I'm working on a project that I know where the budget is restricted, <laughs> and um, I don't know, I wasn't familiar with the actors, so it was like, okay, we're gonna do this movie, and I'm like, well, this is great, here's your cast. Now, usually, you go through an yeah. audition process, and I'm, I'm meeting them, and I'm, I'm filling, filling the gaps between the script and whatnot, so there was, since there was already a cast involved, I was terrified, because you never know, because a lot of times when people are doing a, you know, a lower budget movie, it's like, these are all my friends. Right. And, my, and your friends usually aren't the best actors in the world. You know what I mean? My it's hairdresser, like, yeah. my second grade teacher, right. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like, you know, he's the star of the movie, but man, he's the best butcher this side of, you know, so I'm like, great. Um, so the first day on set was kind of a, um, the scariest for me. And immediately I saw that these were just hilarious people, hilarious. And it helped because they knew the entire script. A lot of mm. times when you're doing a full length feature, uh, actors only read their part. You know, there's plenty of times where they, you know, they watch the movie afterwards and go, oh my God, I didn't even realize that person was my cousin. I'm like, well, mm. did you read the script? No, why would I read the script? <laughs> <laughs> these are the parts that I right. And that's what know? cue cards are for, right? Yeah, They're reading off a know? card, so. Um, but they knew the yeah, whole script. They knew yes. the whole script. It made, because so there was context in their performances. So it made everything much easier. I was blown away mm -hmm. by the level of talent. Blown away. Um, so for me, uh, other than um, not knowing who they were in the very beginning, it was a godsend. I love that. Yeah. And speaking of talent, do you mind bragging about yourself just for one second? I know, I know. How long I, is your show? Uh, it's a lot. Oh! You need to come along. Let me, let me talk about my accolades. And the, and the scroll if comes out. Could, you know, like no, the but just recently. Kind of I mean, no, but just recently. No. You're so charming. But you just had a really nice thing happen for you in your career. And I just kind of want to give you a little yes. shout out, too. Thank you. Yeah, so uh, I, I got to direct a segment for the Conan O'Brien show with Triumph the Insult Dog. Which is, I mean, I, so exciting, so exciting. Robert Smigel, who is the you know the creator of the character and a writer, I followed his career since Saturday Night Live. I'm a big comedy nerd. I think he's amazing, and getting the opportunity to you know direct this segment for Conan O'Brien show was a dream come true. Especially Triumph. I mean, Mike, <laughs> God, I mean, it's the funniest thing in the world. Um, I actually even got some of my own jokes in there as I, you know, was telling him to say certain things and he did it. Well, because he's a great writer laugh. too. He's a great writer. People don't realize he, he writes too. And yeah. He's fabulous. And, and uh, it, was, yeah, it was definitely a dream come true. But, you know, I've, I've had a very strange career. A very, very strange career. And the reason why I'm so, um, um, I guess, open about it uh, and transparent because a lot of times people think you have to go through a certain path um, as a filmmaker. As in, okay, you have to go to film school, and then from film school, you work mm -hmm. on a, a, a production as a PA, and then you work your way up, you know, as a PM. Then it maybe doesn't work director. that way at all. Yeah, it, it doesn't. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So I actually started as an agent, so I was representing talent. So um, I went from being an agent manager to a producer to then a, a writer director. So and coming to a screen near you, you're going to be, I guess, in front of the camera, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, he does his little Alfred Hitchcock moments, you know what I mean? Yes. He has a moment in the movie. Okay. Yeah, just a small little moment, but it's, you know, Alfred Hitchcock appearing in the video. I more, loved it. Yeah. He didn't want to do it, but I wanted him to do it. It I was more it. because of a lack of extras <laughs> and then my need to be in front of the cameras. But I was like, yeah, well, let me we put a coat on and I'll be a nah, different but person than a hat. But, 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 the, but the role was hot guy, so he oh. fit it. Hot guy. <laughs> Hot guy number three. Is, it, guy, is yeah. it in the rolling credits? That's what it is. You guys are so could, cute could you, together. Can you expand uh, you, upon you're that so fun. <laughs> what? Hot guy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so you guys, guy. this is fun. I want to be with you for the, like, the whole hour, but I just can't. So, um, it's how a commune. We can just get a bunch we of people to kind out. of. Yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> live, like just hang out with Live It Up for the day. It yeah. would be wonderful. Um, it's a whole new movement, the Live yes, It Up movement. I love right? it. Books are coming out. It's going to be a good thing. Well, I mean, it should. Yeah, seriously. But so. Where do we find out more about your film? Well, um, we do have a Facebook page. Okay. Uh, Casanova was a woman with two S's. Okay. Um, you know, dot com slash Facebook or you know whatever. However, you find it on Facebook. That's like clear. the page. <laughs> Good luck. L right. <laughs> like the page. Okay. And then you'll get all the information. We're having a screening November 10th. Okay. Um, at the um, uh, NYU uh, Cantor Center, um, November 10th. It's a Monday night. Uh, our first screening, so premiere screening, so to speak. And um, But you can find all updates, information, videos, pictures, everything on the Facebook page, on my website, .com. Um You can find all that information, too. So we there's there's ways you can find out about the movie. Don't That's forget the name Casanova was a woman. How do you say fuck at the films? Like, you know, the way I want to say fuck at the films. There you go. That's the proper way to say fuck at the films. Yes. You have to say it with that intonation fuck at the films. Like that. Got it. Just like that. 
I'm not even going to attempt. But you can give me lessons backstage. All right, so thank you for joining me. As always, I had such a great time uh, being with you guys. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank so you. please check them out if you want to laugh as much as I've been laughing here and as much fun as we've had together. I think you'd like to see their whole entire project in its entirety. Uh, so come to the screening with me. Donna Drake, Live It Up, signing off.